Hey everybody, welcome to Backpacking with Buckley. Today's video is twofold. First and foremost, what you're looking at here is a prestigious award that I received from none other than Andy from Metro on the Move. It is the Ultralight Backpacker of the Week Award. It is a trophy chain started by Kevin, a typical hiker, uh, in the interest that uh, since the YouTubers aren't getting a lot of calls from the Emmys, we just create our own awards around here. So I was lucky enough to receive this from Andy on down the line from Kevin. So my next duty is to award this prestigious trophy to the next recipient. And at the end of this video, I'm going to do just that. Secondly, I'm here to talk a little bit about new gear for 2022. Taylor from Southern Hike tagged me to do this video. It's a long chain of uh, YouTube boredom again uh, to talk about what are some new gear that each and every one of us are getting this year and that we're excited to uh, do a little show and tell with. Uh, unfortunately for me, it might be more tell than show because a lot of my gear hasn't arrived yet. But let's start with what I'm wearing here. Got myself a new boonie hat from uh, Thousand Miles Global. Whitney and I uh, have worked with them in the past and they sent us another round of sweet clothing. Uh, I'm not saying this because I received it for free. I genuinely do enjoy it. And uh, there'll be more to come talking about Thousand Miles after a while, but it's, it's good performance clothing. All right, secondly, I uh, bought this before 2022, but I've yet to use it actually. It is uh, known as the Holy Grail. But this is just the ultralight grail water filter, uh, or the lighter version of it. Uh, Andy from Metro, I believe, has a newer version yet that even has a flip top that I've always wanted. I'm excited to try this water filter out this year because uh, rumor has it that it makes the water taste great. And I have seen with my own two eyes just how speedy this is to filter water. So it's worth the extra weight as compared to like a Sawyer. Uh, and I'm excited to try it out. I may also get that new platypus out there that uh, has caps on both ends that I saw in the backpacking podcast and senior hiker and things. Uh, but this is option for short trips for sure. Secondly, I uh, won this cork ball through a giveaway and I'm going to be trying this out for my old achy muscles and on longer hike days I'll be carrying this with me. Uh, I see it's a real trendy thing to do and uh, I'm hoping that the trend is real. That's why people are carrying them. I know this gear hasn't been too exciting thus far but I'm trying to work up to the, uh, you know, the big build up. So uh, I've jumped on the bandwagon of the Thermo Drop thermometer. I believe I saw this on Crow or Metro or uh, dozens of YouTubers have been carrying them. Uh, and I know that all of us backpackers generally like to, for whatever reason, know how cold it got at night, things of that nature. I'm excited to use this to see how, how hot I can get my hot tent because I've just been guessing so far. Another one, this is Tell Not Show. But uh, you may have seen that I destroyed my favorite um, Ghost Shadow jacket from Mountain Hardware. And I have since bit the bullet and ordered the 9-ounce uh, Enlightened Equipment Torrid jacket. So I'm excited to get that in 6 to 9 weeks. And uh, I will not be wearing that in the hot tent. But here's a picture of that up here. It comes highly recommended and I'm excited to have it because mainly I'm a gram weenie. Secondly, I've tried one on and they're ungodly warm. So as you know, 2022 has brought with me a new camping experience, a new backpacking experience, hopefully, but so far I've only camped with this equipment. But I have become a rookie hot tenter. Uh, this is the Pomali Traveler. Uh, maybe it's Pomali. I'm not sure how you say it. Uh, but this was the stove that I chose because I just wanted to go with simple and easy. And uh, I didn't want something that I had to like basically put together once I got to camp. So this is about a three pound option and you may have seen that I basically destroyed my titanium stovepipe which led me to now order a titanium section stovepipe uh, which cost me about $110 darn it. But uh, I'm a man of simplicity which is why I went with the non-collapsible stove in the first place and I'm looking forward to having just some uh, section pipes that I can stack up and are ready to go and uh, less likely to be screwed up by myself. And with that, I'll show you a picture up here if you haven't seen it yet. I purchased the One Tigris Rock Domus Hot Tent. Uh, and I chose to go with that. There's a few options out there. Pomelie does have one as well, but it's made of canvas. And to be quite frank with you, I'm not a big fan of uh, having other people's logos on my tent. Uh, that's not to say whoever's logo may or may not be on those tents is, is somebody I don't enjoy. 
but I wouldn't even want a backpacking with Buckley logo on my tent, I don't think. So that, to be honest with you, kind of switched me back to, ironically enough, one Tigris. But most importantly, I went with the smallest option I could find, which is an 11-foot, uh, it's called a Rock Domus or Rock Domus hammock hot tent. I had to get that out on some expeditions and some fun camping trips throughout the winter and uh, gain experience in the old hot tenting world. So lastly, I leave you with a world of possibilities, meaning I don't know what else I might uh, decide to pick up throughout the year. Uh, I'm excited to potentially look at a TP hot tent so I can get something with a little smaller uh, square footage for the traveler to get it up to the 80 degree temps I've been dreaming of. And uh, I don't know what else I may purchase throughout the year. A lot of that will be dictated by my, my paychecks and my how frugal I am with my spending. Before we award the Backpacker of the Week trophy recipient, I have to tag somebody else to do a new gear for 2022 video, and that person is none other than Andy from Metro on the Move. Andy, I know you're a gearhead. I know that you know your gear really well, so I'm really excited to see what you come up with. Uh, so I'm tagging you, pal. Uh, but let's get on to the most important part of this entire video. There's no criteria given for how to give away the Ultralight Trophy. So, Kevin and Andy, forgive me, I'm making up my own, and my criteria is very loose, as always, which is, who have I enjoyed in the last couple of weeks? And there's one person that stood out to me, and that is uh, somebody who has a couple of great videos out, one from the Smoky Mountains, and uh, the other one I was given a preview of, so the YouTube world hasn't seen it yet, and it is absolute comic gold. That's all I'm going to say about that, because it's not my business to spoil this person's surprise. But I will surprise you by saying that person is my friend Brad from As the Crow Flies Hiking. Yep, it's you, Mr. As the Crow Flies. I believe that's your real last name. Um, so, Brad, you had a couple great videos in the last two weeks, and the one you shared with me uh, had me absolutely entertained for whatever it was, 20 minutes. And I can't wait to uh, see the other people's feedback when they see that hilarity. So, Brad, I'm going to send this out to you. Your job is, once receiving it, to decide where it's going to go to next. That choice is up to you, my friend. So, without further ado, congratulations, Brad, from As the Crow Flies Hiking. And, be yourself, be happy. We'll catch you on the next adventure, everybody.